the Golden State Warriors have the NBA fooled. As you all know, the Warriors recently lost to the Denver Nuggets and it actually pushed them down into the fourth place of the Western Conference. So in today's video, we're going to be going through the five promising and underrated players that we did notice during that Denver Nuggets game and how they can help them win another NBA championship. So make sure to like this video and guys, 92% of you are still not subscribed to the channel. So it mean the world if you can subscribe to the channel, hit that red button down below. The first is none other than Andrew Wiggins. Now, as you all know, Andrew Wiggins has been playing very well where he's been averaging 10.8 points, 4.6 rebounds and 0.6 assists in the last five games. And they've been doing a fantastic job. When I mentioned Andrew Wiggins, yes, he may not be putting up the same numbers that he was putting up two years ago when they did win the NBA championship. But you do have to remember, Klay Thompson is back fully and also Chris Paul is now been added to the team. And yes, this may have taken away from Andrew Wiggins' field goal attempts. However, I do believe the volume of shots that he still gets per game is great, around 10 to 12. And on top of that, guys, Andrew Wiggins is definitely there for defense. When it comes to scoring, we all know Warriors do have enough scores in this team, and anyone can really go for 30. You have Steph, you have Clay, Wiggins is also included there. Chris Paul's a great scorer, Jonathan Kaminga, Dario Saric, the list really does go on and on. And I think Wiggins' role so far this year has been just to play great defense and also give 10 to 15 points per game. And that's all we really need from someone like Wiggins, and he's doing a fantastic job with that. When it comes to Wiggins and what he has done for this team, I think defense is definitely going to be a huge factor when it comes to him playoff time and also championship time. Although Wiggins' stats don't show the full picture, I think what he does on the defensive side is great. But on top of that, he's also a great rebounder as well, which has helped the Golden State Warriors actually rank ninth in total rebounds. If we look at the season before, they actually ranked in the bottom half when it came to rebounds. So Wiggins has really done a fantastic job all season. And on top of this, when we look at the Golden State Warriors that they were last season where Wiggins was out for a while, I do believe he has definitely improved this team drastically coming into this season playing all of the games so far. And I think it will continue on into this next game and Wiggins can definitely be a huge factor when it comes to the defensive side of things. We see him guarding some of the best players in the other team, such as LeBron, such as KD, all these other great guys, and he has done a fantastic job. And the capability of Wiggins to be able to guard one through five is really what makes him a defensive juggernaut and a huge asset for this team. The second is finally giving minutes to Trace Jackson Davis. Now, as you all know, Trace Jackson Davis is 23 years old, and he also stands at six foot nine, 245 pounds, and he is destined to be a fantastic player. And coming into this season, he actually is starting to get some game time, and he has proved to us time and time again why he belongs in this league. He most recently played in the game against the Denver Nuggets, where they did unfortunately take the L by three points, but he was able to give them eight points, one assist, and two rebounds. Now, that may not sound like a lot, but for a player that is in his rookie year, I think he has done a fantastic job and is capable of doing much, much more as the season goes by. I've seen this happen a lot with Golden State Warriors players, and we saw this with Jonathan Kaminga and also Moses Moody, where some of these players coming into their first season or even their first couple of seasons, the Golden State Warriors, and especially Steve Kerr, like to give them 18 minutes here, 15 minutes here, and really start to test them out. And I think Trace Jackson Davis is being tested out right now, and he has done a fantastic job time and time again. When we look at his season overall stats, he's averaging 4.3 points, 2.7 rebounds. But where I think he really does help out is due to the fact that he has such a high effective field goal percentage of 60%. And on top of that, him being 6'9", 245 pounds, really helps on the defensive side of things as well. Now, there are a lot of big teams out there. And if we look at the most recent game against Denver, they did have Nikola Jokic. And you need a lot of big bodies out there. And that's one of the reasons why Trace Jackson Davis definitely got those minutes. And he did not disappoint. Although Jokic is Jokic, I think Trace Jackson Davis, for the amount of time he's had in the league and the amount of experience that he's had, it definitely shows a lot of great potential and is a very promising prospect. And we saw this happen with Jonathan Kaminga and Moses Moody, and now you see them doing fantastic for this team. And that's why I think it will continue on for someone like Trace Jackson Davis. We may get little glimpses of him here and there, but I do believe as the season goes on, you're definitely going to see him make a huge impact and be an absolute X factor for this team. 
the third player is none other than Kavon Looney. Now, as you all know, I think Kavon Looney is still the most underrated player in this team, and I think it still continues on. In the last five games, he's been averaging 7.4 rebounds, 6.4 points, and also four assists per game. So he's done a fantastic job all season, and he is coming off a game against Detroit where he had 10 points, eight rebounds, and four assists. And I think Kavon Looney has the capability to definitely continue to be such a vital role for this team. As you all know, the Golden State Warriors last season didn't have the greatest season, but on top of that, when it came to categories such as rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks, they actually ranked all in the bottom five. And that may be one of the reasons why they didn't go so well in the playoffs during that season. I think they didn't really have the best team possible and everyone wasn't been able to really be at their full extent. This season is completely different, especially with Kavon Looney leading this team in rebounds. We've seen a huge increase in the overall team stats, and I think it is great to see that. If we look at some of them, their offensive rebounds, they actually rank fourth in, which is great. In total rebounds, they rank ninth. In assists, they rank seventh. And also in blocks, they do rank 20th. Now, blocks, you know, we can definitely look by that. It is just blocks. But when it comes to rebounds and assists, which is something Kavon Looney actually really is a part of when it comes to him averaging 7.4 rebounds and four assists in the last five games, it definitely does help this team go further. And yes, this may just be ordinary stats, but at the end of the day, that extra rebound, that extra assist can definitely get you a win or loss in any close game. And I think that's one of the reasons why Golden State Warriors have been able to close out games very effectively, and they continue to do it at a very good rate. Oh, we all know that Kavon Looney is a great defender, but on top of that, if you look at the defensive rating for the Golden State Warriors, they rank 14th as of right now. And I think that's great because they were actually 20th in the last season, and I do believe they have improved drastically and can continue to improve into the top 10 when it comes to defensive rating. The fourth player is none other than Clay Thompson. Now, as you all know, Clay Thompson had himself a great game over the last few games, where he's been averaging 16.6 points, 2.6 rebounds, and 1.6 assists. And I think he's finally back to where he was before. Now, you do have to mention, like I did mention with Andrew Wiggins, that yes, he may not be putting up the biggest type of numbers, but I do believe he's been playing a lot more consistent, and we have seen that not only in his scoring, averaging around 18 points per game for the season, but on top of that, he's also shooting a very good field goal percentage. Over the last five games, he's actually shooting 48% from the field, which I think is great, and I think he is only getting better as time goes on. Now, when it comes to Clay Thompson, yes, he did miss a most recent game winner against Denver Nuggets, where he wasn't able to get a hold of the ball, but I think overall, he has been playing so great, especially due to the fact that he is coming back from two season-ending injuries, and I think that's something that is definitely to be reckoned with. When it comes to Clay Thompson and also the other players such as Andrew Wiggins in that starting five, their job is definitely to really help support Steph Curry when it comes to scoring, and Clay Thompson has definitely done his job right. On the defensive side of things, he is only just getting better as time goes on. You can tell he's starting to get a better feel for what it's like playing NBA defense again, due to the fact that over the last two seasons, he was restricted with niggling injuries. And I think now is a perfect season to say that he is pretty much or nearly 100% playing at his full capacity, which is what I love to see. And Clay Thompson in the most recent interviews has also mentioned that time and time again, that he does feel a lot more different this season than he did in the last two seasons, especially coming back from those injuries. And I think it's only time will tell on how great Clay Thompson can be, but the rate that he is playing at can definitely show him he's playing at that championship level and Warriors are playing him the way he needs to play. And I think that's what's most important about these players, especially Clay, Steph, and Draymond, who have been there ever since the start of this Golden State Warriors era, that if they continue to stay close and continue to play at their highest level, anything is really possible for this team. The fifth is none other than Dario Saric. Now, Dario Saric has been such a huge asset for this team, and it definitely not just has shown over the last couple of games, but even in the preseason, you knew who was going to be a big factor for this team. Now, Dario Saric over the last five games is averaging 10.2 points, 6.2 rebounds, and 1.6 assists. And guys, he's only doing this on around 22 minutes per game. He is probably the most efficient player on this team when it comes to minutes and the stats that he is getting. And on top of that, he's also shooting a field goal percentage of 53%. So guys, Dario Saric has been a very, very underrated player for this team. And he's not only helped out on the defensive side of things for him being so tall, you know, when it comes to him being 6'10", 6'11". However, on top of that, guys, on offense, he has definitely provided game in and game out. He had a most recent game against 
OKC where he actually had 20 points and six rebounds, or even another game against Sacramento where he dropped 15 points and also six rebounds there. And it definitely has helped this Golden State Warriors team drastically. If we look at some of the categories that Dario Saric definitely helps in is points and rebounds, the Golden State Warriors as a whole actually ranked 12th in points allowed, which is fantastic because last season they actually ranked in the bottom 10. So we actually have seen a huge increase in points from this Golden State Warriors with alongside Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Wiggins, all these players that score a lot, and also rebounds like we talked about earlier with Kevon Looney. I think Dario Saric and Kevon Looney are the two biggest rebounders for this team, and that's one of the reasons why they do rank ninth in rebounds allowed. So I think that's honestly great to see when it comes to this Golden State Warriors team. These individual players are definitely helping this team grow, and I think Dario Saric has been a very underrated asset for this team, and will continue to do that as time goes on. Where I think Dario Saric definitely fits in is that six-man role that he has been playing as of recent alongside Chris Paul, and I think they do a fantastic job for the second unit being able to guide the younger players like Moses Moody, Jonathan Kaminga, on what it takes to win and have that experience to show them.